Hey there, it's Meshweaver again, bringing you another video tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be going over the basics of UV unwrapping. Now, please keep in mind that I am not an expert at this, nor at anything really, but uh, I do understand most of it, so I can pretty much share it. I've done several tests. Uh, I've used UV unwrapping in uh, to uh, one fairly recent project. Uh, if you've seen the retro flashlight render on either Blender Artists in the finished project section or on my DeviantArt account or Flickr or even my blog, uh, if you've seen the batteries or the cap, I've used UV unwrapping and textures on those two objects. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Uh, so let's just get started. Let me set up my scene here. I'm working in Blender 2.5 Alpha 2 Revision 28746, I think. Just a second. Oops. Uh, splash. Yeah, 28746. So we have the default set. The scene here. Uh, we're actually going to keep the cube for now because we're going to start with the cube. So we we'll just zoom in here, uh, switch to orthographic view mode using 5 on your number pad, and just to get these silly things out of the way, we're going to go into the end panel right here. So press N on your keyboard while your mouse is in the 3D view. Go into display and press only render. Now I Learned this recently in one of Jonathan Williams's videos. It is the uh, sculpting a rock face video on the Blender Cookie, where he sculpts with the uh, multi res and the new brushes and things. So it's quite useful. It, it eliminates all the other stuff. But uh, actually, that's not what I want. Okay, sorry about that. I'll just deactivate that and move these two objects onto, say, layer 3, because we're going to have another object on layer 2. So that's fine. Let's remove that panel. Uh, in uh, 3D viewport, select your cube. I'm going to edit mode using tab. And first off, I'm going to deactivate this. I don't know why it's always activated. Probably my settings. Uh, but if you've done UV unwrapping, if well, if you've looked into UV unwrapping, you've probably heard that you need seams in order to unwrap. Now seams are much like actual seams, like on a, uh, a TV remote or anything plastic, it has a seam somewhere. Uh, but in this case, it would be much more um, realistic if I use the example of a paper cube. Now, if you've ever folded a paper cube before using the uh, T-shaped uh, paper shape, you can you you know that there are these seams where the paper meets, and that's exactly what this does. So let's start out here. We're actually going to be use, doing that exact the exact same thing, uh, unwrapping it into a T form. Now, right here we have one seam which we can probably do. So Control E to get to bring up the edges menu, then mark seam. Now. That's one seam. So let's do some more here. Now, if you remember how a uh, cube works, you have one, you have a plus sign, really. So you need a a seam here because a seam is where the mesh separates. Whoops, sorry. Uh, so another one here. So right now, to un unwrap on these and just fold out. And we'll need another one here, another one here. Actually, I went to edge mode using here or either control tab 2 or just select edge and just mark the two at the same time. And did that work? Yes, it did. Okay. So that should be working. We have this thing, the, this, these two faces here, which will unfold like this into a, into a, uh, rectangular shape. This one will unfold here. The other one over here will unfold like this. 
and the remaining square will end up like this. So we'll, whoops, <laughs> we'll end up with a plus sign. Let me just clear that. That's grease pencil, by the way. Quite useful. So right now you might be wondering, what do we do next? So basically just hit U to bring up the UV mapping uh, panel. Just click unwrap. Now that doesn't do a thing, right? Well, let's split our viewport here and go into the UV image editor. Nothing there. Select the mesh and there it is. Our plus sign. So let's just realign this. The same controls apply, the same transformation controls apply in the UV image editor. The grab, rotate, and scale, which is very, very cool. So let's just rotate this 90 degrees and just bring it up here. So we now have a um, nice plus sign. So that is our unwrapped mesh. So let's say you want to uh, map a texture onto this. Well, that's very easy. Go to down here, image, open an image. I have some uh, textures that I've pulled from uh, some other projects. This one was for uh, some mushrooms, some Super Mario mushrooms that I made last night, but I just created this polka dot texture, which will work fine. So let's open that, and it is huge. And it would just not really fit properly if we just let, left it like that. So let's select the mesh, and maybe just recenter it on that circle there. Right about there. And then let's just select these vertices, and uh, snap the cursor to the selection right there and then switch our uh, manipulation method here rotating scaling pivot to 2D cursor because it's not a 3D cursor it is a 2D cursor so let's just select our mesh and just scale it down until we get something like that so let me just get that number for you that percentage so roughly 0.6666 so two-thirds you just enter in sixes 0.66666 and it gets two thirds. So that should be fine. However, it does not work because I, for one, have some user preference here, preferences that I've deactivated. So if you have um, this already activated, you can skip this part. But if you don't, go into the user preferences, go into system and activate MIP maps. Now MIP maps enables uh, textures. UV textures or plain textures, I'm not sure about those, that last one, in the 3D viewport. So if we go back, we have this cube. And that should like, actually work. Now I'm not sure if the... Um, let me just try something here. If I go into the camera and render, there is no texture. Because the only thing activated is textured mode in the viewport. That's kind of disappointing. So if you want to get this to render, go into the materials options. We already have a material. I'll just call it UV texture. Go into the texture panel. And let's just delete this. Create a new one. Name that UV texture as well. And this time choose image for the type. And since our image is already loaded, just click on this button and select it right there. However, However, this is not enough. We have to go into image mapping. I uh, no, sorry, to mapping. And the coordinates, which is how it maps, you have to change that to UV. Also select this, UV text, which is, sorry, which is the uh, unwrapped mesh. So that should be fine because we do have a flat projection since this is a flat UV. And if you render, you have the cube with the polka dots.